Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time today. We're gonna take a look at a 2024 Force River Flagstaff Microlite model number 22 FBS. It's a front bed, side slide, rear bathroom with a fireplace, weighing around 5,100 pounds or so. This is an awesome trailer. This is that top down hair back, baby. I'm here with my friend, that Dutch bad boy, Brendan Hanemeyer on the camera today. Brendan? What's going on, happy campers, huge campers, and fellow salespeople? It's freaking cold outside, but welcome to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. If you don't mind hitting that like and subscribe button, we'd very much appreciate it. We're also on Instagram, TikTok, and we're on Facebook. They're shorter videos, but they are still very sweet. I like these micro lights, and this one is a little bit bigger than its sister, the 21 footer, but we got an extra storage and a nice little fireplace. I really like it. It's a good model. Right on, Brendan. At our house, we don't say frickin', we say freaking. So freaking? if we could, yeah, if you okay. can just keep kind of dial that back Sounds a little worse. bit. We got ourselves. <laughs> front power jack, 30 pound we're paint tanks, battery in a box location in behind there. You, these, this one here has manual uh, stabilizer jacks. You can option this in with power stabilizer jacks if you want to. I actually prefer manual, eh, Brendan? Yep. Uh, one of the big differences between this and the 21 FBRS is that this has a bigger pass-through storage. So there's lots of height and width in this pass-through storage. We've got ourselves a rack and pinion style slide. Rack and pinion, baby. We have slide topper as an option on this guy. Goodyear tires, 14-inch rims, um, aluminum rims as well with torsion suspension and nitro fill with TPMS. Six gallon gas electric water heater. Our plumbing's done from right here. We have city water, antifreeze inlet, black water flush kit, all conveniently put in this spot here. 30 anti-touchable style cord. And as we come down the back side, we have an outside shower, a class three receiver. And then right here's our spare tire. We're gonna put a beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you. We come standard with a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. That's a one piece roof, which is just how I like my grandmother's bathing suits. We're also prepped up there for a backup camera. And then here on the door side, we have a good long electric awning, LED lights on that awning. We have outside speakers, frameless windows on this model as well. Range hood vent, a spot here to put an outside TV. Our furnace vent is there. These come standard with an outside griddle and an outside table. We also have a manual override on this model for our rack and pinion style slide. And then right here is just the other side of our pass through. Slide still closed, Brandon. Let's see what kind of travel access we have. As we slip in here, you can see we e can easily get a little windy here. Oh. We can easily get to our fridge and our bathroom off the side of the road. And we can even slip down here, get to our fireplace, you know, kitchen, bed, all that kind of stuff. Let's get this bad boy opened up. Right on, folks. We're inside that 22 FBS. Quick point, Brendan, this is about 20 push-ups on the floor here just to warm up. Feeling good, Brendan? Feeling way warmer. Yeah, you're out of breath, though. I am not. No? I'm ready to go. Oh, you're ready to go. All right, Brendan's standing by the front bed there, looking back into our kitchen living space. I love the fact that as you come in this door, there's a spot to kick off your shoes just right in through here. We've also got this uh, pantry slash closet, because these shelves right here, these top two are actually removable, and you can hang up your coats in through here. We still have a shelf there. It is really convenient that this fridge opens from both sides for 2024. So you can get to something from the door, uh, like from the main door quite easily. Our kitchen's right here, we're gonna get to it. But as we come in, we do have our uh, bathroom, porcelain toilet on this model, corner style washroom, the dump truck fits in through here. With the door closed, my knee will be against the door, but that's what it is in a uh, corner style washroom. We got a cupboard down through there. I like this little LED, uh, uh, accent light there, our sink, right here's our medicine cabinet, and then right here's a great looking linen closet, and then up into the shower, I'm six feet tall, let's see if I fit, quite easily, alright, lots of height in here for me, radius style shower, so whatever water's on the inside of these doors is going to stay in through here, we're also standing with the shower miser, letting you save uh, water. Fantastic fan in the living space is also standard, coming out of the bathroom, into our Kitchen living room. I know, which one you want to do here? Oh, let's do living room. Okay, so in our living room we have a pantry. <laughs> Alright, that's right across from the kitchen. That's kind of why I think you don't need to, um, that's a fake uh, cupboard there. That's why I don't think you need to use the entrance door one for pantry. You can use that for closet because we've got this great pantry here. Theater seats. 
Uh, so this is a flush floor slide with a woven mat. Uh, theater seats are gonna have uh, cup holders, uh, it's charging location in through here, and then there's these little two little tabletops that are in the passenger storage. You can fit in through there and have that for your uh, little dinette space. We got windows in through here, cupboards across the top, and then into our bedroom now, we have our uh, 60 by 80 inch queen. We can get around that quite easily. This is that grill I was mentioning, it'll go on the outside. We've got a USB right through here. Bedroom light, that's convenient, eh, Brian? Yeah, they give you a second switch. Yeah, because the main switch is on the panel. We can talk about the panel in a second, but our secondary switch is there, which is good. That means no one's got to race in the bed to be the last one to shut the light off. Is that a thing in your house? Yeah. If you're last one in the bed, you gotta shut the light off. Yeah. Okay. I have, yeah, I always have. Because <laughs> you're last one in the bed. Normally. Well, even if I'm not, I somehow have to do it. <laughs> well, you're always sitting by the fire smoking a cigar, right, Brian? Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. Three drawers underneath. Aluminum framing all around these uh, flag staffs. Even the minor construction, like what's underneath the bed, is also aluminum. I've got a drawer on this side. I've got receptacles on both sides. We have a solar panel on the roof, 200 watts, charging our battery, 1800 watt inverter for this year. Nice solid surface countertops. Pop down piece there. Fireplace, putting up some good electric heat. Nice little counter extension here that's also solid surface. The counter does extend all the way down, so it's good counter space. There's a tower of power in through here that you can pull up. You can also charge your cell phone right in the top. Great kitchen window, deeper oven than we're used to seeing on a smaller travel trailer. There is some nice white lights here on our oven knobs. That's a three burner stove top with a glass stove top cover. Back to the theater seats, so right across from our 12 volt TV. This is a smart TV, so we hook up to Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus. We have our microwave here, range hood. And then to finish up in the kitchen, we've got some great overhead cupboards here for plates and cups and whatnot. We have a uh, nice uh, flat blocker, more of a satin black uh, uh, faucet there. Undermount stainless steel sink, split drying rack in through here so you can you know leave your dishes here to dry. We're gonna have a pop down piece here, two larger drawers, a couple smaller drawers, and that's the video. This is the uh, sorry, Brendan, I juked you on that. Here's our control panel. So I like the fact that you have the bedroom switch right there or the bedroom switch beside the bed. You can hook up to this with your phone. Here's the uh, spot there for your solar charge controller. Now that's the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Leave us a comment down below. Hi, wish you all a good day.